Hi viewers, welcome to the Grammar Channel. We have been learning different kinds of pronouns and today's lesson is all about interrogative pronoun. Interrogative pronoun is another important grammar lesson and let's move on to the video to learn more about it. Interrogative pronoun is a pronoun which is used to make asking questions easy. Interrogation, interrogative, all these are asking questions. So, it is interrogative pronouns are used to make asking questions easy. Now, there are just five interrogative pronouns and each one is used to ask a very specific question, direct or indirect. Once you are familiar with inter interrogative pronouns, you will find that it's really easy to use them in a variety of situations. Now, the first five interrogative pronouns. What, WH words. What, which, who, whom and whose. Now, let me explain one by one with examples. What, what the word what is used to ask question about people or objects. I repeat, what is used to ask questions about people or objects. Examples, what do you want for dinner? What is your friend's name? What is that you have in your bag? What animal is that? All these are examples for what? Asking question using what. Next, which. Which, the word which is used to ask question about people or objects. Which is used to ask about, ask questions about people or objects. And the examples are, which color do you prefer? Which seat would you like? Which of these ladies is your mother? All these are examples of asking questions using which. Next, who? Who, again, is used to ask questions about people. Who is that? Who was driving the car? Who is your class teacher? Now, next is whose. Whose is used to ask question about people or object, always related to possession, possessive noun. Whose sweater is this? Whose parents are those? I wonder whose dog knocked our door? All this. Next, whom? Whom? is an interrogative pronoun, rarely seen these days. We don't use that much, but still we have to learn about this interrogative word. When it shows up, it is used to ask questions about people again. Whom did you speak to? Whom do you prefer to vote for? You should ask whom to call. All these are examples of whom. So, we have learned all WH words, the usages with examples. In some cases, interrogative pronouns take on the suffix ever. I repeat, interrogative pronouns take on the suffix ever. Like whatever, whichever, whoever, whosoever, whom, whomsoever, all that. If you can take on the old-fashioned suffix so ever, right? Now, they are really rarely seen in writing these days, but still let us learn whatever. Whatever is the reason, please go ahead. That is the example. Whichever you want, you can pick. That is for whichever. Whoever you want to meet, you can do so. Whoever. Whosoever. Whomsoever. All these are examples of suffix ever. Now, examples of interrogative pronoun sentences containing interrogative pronouns are always questions. So, they always end with a question mark. Remember, you should end the sentence using interrogative words with a question mark because it is asking questions. We use WH words only to use asking questions. Obviously, it should end with a question mark. Now, let me ex explain the, some examples. What do you want for your birthday? End with a question mark. Who do you think will win the game? End with a question mark. Whose socks are those? Question mark. So viewers, 
I will recall the interrogative pronoun definition with examples again. Please listen carefully. Interrogative pronoun is a pronoun that is used to ask questions and form an interrogative sentence. They can work as a subject or object of a sentence. Primarily, the Engl in English grammar, there are five interrogative pronouns. We saw in the page, you can see what, which, who, who's, whom, with examples we learnt now. And some of the examples of interrogative pronouns asking direct questions. Let me explain. Who are all coming to the match? Whose pen is this? Whose is that mobile? These are all in interrogative pronouns asking direct questions. Now, we are going to see using interrogative pronouns how to apply in indirect questions. We have indirect questions using interrogative pronouns. Now, in such cases, interrogative pronouns usually appear in the middle of the sentence if it is in the indirect form. They are normally used to ask questions in a polite way. Let me explain. Can you tell me what we are doing here? Do you know who that guy is? Look at the words, WH words in the middle of a sentence. I repeat the definition. Interrogative pronouns find their application in indirect questions as well. In, that case, in those cases, interrogative pronouns usually appear in the middle of a sentence. Another example I can give you. Can you tell me whom they have called? Do you know who that guy is? All these are indirect questions. Interrogative pronouns appear in the middle of a sentence. Now, finally, there are seven other interrogative pronouns in English grammar. They are used in formal language. They are whosoever, whatsoever, whichever, whomever, whomsoever, all that. And that we saw in the uh, explanation now. So, I conclude. I uh, sum up the interrogative pronouns, the list. Who, what, which, whose, whom. These are all primarily used. And with the suffix ever. Whoever, whatever, whichever, whomever, whosoever, whatsoever, and whomsoever. These are all an another set of uh, pronouns that we use in speech and writing.